What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Virgo, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is uh, the Gist of 96 percent of Virgo. This can resonate if you have Virgo in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Sun, Moon, Haven, or Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave rest. Free general such reading for sign of Virgo. Love you guys so much. Um, thanks for all the shares of my content on social media and word of mouth. It's really helping my channel grow and my business grow. So thanks so much, you guys. I love it. Um, I did receive one channel as I was meditating on your Distant 96. Now, the Distant 96 is the energetic pooling of the energy tentatively for the next four days. So 11-12 to 11-16 in 2022. This could um, resonate within the next four days, but there's 7 point some something billion people in the universe. So for some of you guys, it could resonate outside the four-day range if it does. It's a free general collective reading, so it's very important to only take the messages or messages, message or messages that resonate, okay? Um, yeah, okay. So the channel message I received for the sign of Virgo, as I was um, meditating on your energy, I heard um, your ESP soon is about to... Um, get you out of a very important situ uh, important dangerous situation um i heard um a bullet dodged bullet dodged so but it hasn't happened yet it hasn't happened yet it sounds like upcoming i feel for whoever this is for for a bulk of you guys it's going to be within the next four days for some it could be outside the four day range you plug in how it resonates but upcoming one of you guys' esp is about to kick in like your intuition's about to go into overdrive, basically. And I'm going to read the definition of ESP. That's why I might have my phone. Um, but it's going to kick in. It's some kind of very serious, dangerous situation that either you're going to free willingly put yourself in or somebody is going to sneakily put you in. But your ESP is going to kick into overtime and overdrive, and it's going to get you out of it. So you, your ESP, it sounds like it's going to kick in. Somebody's either going to free willingly put... It sounds like you're either going to free willingly get put in this situation and your ESP kicks into overdrive or um, um, somebody sneakily, dangerously puts you in a situation like a group of people behind the scenes collaborating and ganging up on you to, to put you in a dangerous situation. Like I'm thinking like sex trafficking, human trafficking or exploitation and abuse in a, with a voyeur camera. I didn't hear any of that, but those are just examples. Some kind of very serious situation. Those are obvious, very serious situations, but it could be anything is what I'm saying. But how that resonates, your ESP is going to kick an overdrive, overtime, overdrive. You're going to get yourself out of it, and it's going to save your ass, basically. A bullet dodge. So, uh, Google definition, ESP. Interest, extrasensory perception is the definition of ESP. Abbreviation for extrasensory perception. Um... Telep telepathy, augury, clairvoyance. Clairvoyance is the spiritual visions. Yeah. So it's basically extrasensory per perception. It's basically spiritual abilities, like what I have. Clairaudience, clairvoyance, uh, high, deep intuition. But it hasn't, whatever this dangerous situation is, whether you free willingly put yourself in it or somebody gains up as a group and collaborates together to sneakily put you in it, and they use possible hidden voyeur cameras to do it or um, or um, like human trafficking or sex trafficking or what have you, what have you, they're about to do it. Um, but, uh, or you free willingly put yourself in it. But however that resonates, your ESP is going to kick an overdrive. So, so one of you guys is very highly intuitive is what I'm trying to say. And you're, I heard a bullet's going to be dodged. So it sounds like you're going to listen to your intuition. If this resonates for you, you're going to listen to your intuition. Now, for one of you, for the ones of you that free willingly put yourself in a dangerous situation or a group collaborates to put you in a dangerous situation and you don't listen to your intuition, this is not for you. This is, I, I feel for a majority of my collective, you're going to listen. You're going to listen. But of course, everybody has free will, okay? At least I hope you listen. The star upright, the devil reverse, the lover's upright. A Virgo is about to go out on a very healthy date soon. A new person. They have goals, desire, drive, and motivation. You are going to be good for them, and they are going to be good for you. 
They are not an addict. I heard specifically they're not an addict. Holy crap, it sounds like you got a winner, winner, chicken dinner, Virgo. If this resonates for you, holy crap. So you plug in how it resonates and you have the star card. Success, man. Okay, so for one of you guys, is I think in the next four days, but for some it could be outside the four-day range, you're going to go on a, excuse me, a new date soon. A new to you person. And you're a new to them person. So um, that's beautiful. So first date energy. Um, I feel you can be masculine or feminine Virgo. Only you know if you're planning on going on a date within these next four days. Okay? But whoever this is that you're about to go on a first time, first date with, I heard they have goals, dreams, and and aspirations, and they're not an addict. I heard that specifically. So they, they're not a drug addict or a gambling addict or a sex addict, I'm presuming. I heard they're not an addict, but you can be an addict in many things. So I'm presuming they're not a gambling addict, drug addict, sex addict. Like, they don't have an addictive personality. Um, and they have goals, dreams, desires, and motivation. So if they want to change the world, I'm presuming, hopefully in a positive way. They're not a crook or a criminal or a thief or what have you, what have you. It looks like this date is going to become successful. Of course, it's all in how you grow and manifest it. Ball's in your court, Virgo. But it looks like if everything goes well on your end and their end, it's going to be a love connection, success, star card. For some, you could be going out with an Aquarius or a Gemini or a Capricorn. Because we have Aquarius, Gemini, and Capricorn energy in here. They could have Aquarius, Gemini, or Capricorn in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Ham, and Jupiter charts, if you are. Only you know who you're about to go out with, not anybody else. Maybe you get their zodiac sign, maybe you don't, because it sounds like you're about to meet them. For, well, not meet them, but the first date. So maybe you get their zodiac sign. For some, I feel it could be an Aquarius, a Capricorn, or Gemini. But however that resonates, um, it looks like it's going to be a success. Now, this is not the same message at the beginning. The ESP about to kick in in a dangerous situation. I think that's for somebody else. This is good energy here. This is not somebody that wants to human traffic you, sex traffic you, or um, take all your money, money launder you, steal every fucking penny you have, um, drain your bank account and go buy a fucking mansion with it while you're living in the poorhouse. That's not this kind of energy, okay? Um, so the first message I think is for somebody else. Okay, you have to plug the message or messages and how it resonates. But if this resonates for you, this is looks like it's gonna be very successful. They're not an addict. They have desire, dreams, and motivation in life. I don't think they want to human traffic you, sex traffic you, lock you up in a box or lock you up in a house with a hidden camera so they can try to control you. Okay. I love you guys so much. I hope this helped and namaste.